की वीडियो को स्पॉन्सर किया है रूपा आपा पब्लिशर्स ने और बहनों अपने दिल थाम के बैठिए क्योंकि रूपा आपा पब्लिशिंग प्रस्तुत करते हैं लेखक दिनेश पंडित की नई नोवल असीम दिल रूपा कहानी एक शर्मिला घरेलू लड़का जिसकी शादी हो जाती है एक मॉडर्न सेक्सी लड़की से और लड़की को चाहिए था अपने लाइफ पार्टनर से कुछ ज्यादा बहुत ज्यादा एंट्री होती है एक हैंडसम सेक्सी डूड की गरीबों का ऋतिक रोशन अपनी हवस की बुक में नील एक बात भूल जाता है भाभी कितनी भी सेक्सी हो देखना नहीं चाहिए मगर इस दरिंदे को बस एक ही काम आता है इस कहानी में प्यार है जोश है पागलपन है मर्डर है और सेक्स भी है ना? अरे हाँ भाई हाँ तो... हसीन दिल रुबा जल्दी आपकी नजदीकी पुस्तक कर में Hi guys, just finished watching Haseen Dilruba on Netflix, and this is what I thought about it. Haseen Dilruba is a heady concoction, straight out of a suspense romantic Hindi novel. A timid husband, an unhappy bride, a hunky cousin. What can go wrong? Everything. Haseen Dilruba starts off with a lot of promise, a bomb blast, an arranged marriage, and a murder investigation. All happen in the first 30 minutes. Followed by a suspicious-looking extramarital affair and its repercussions. The comedy was working, the conflict was building, and the acting was spot on. All of this piqued my interest. But then, just then, the movie starts getting out of hand, little by little. Director Vinil Mathew, whose previous work is the highly underrated Hasi to Fasi, which was a nice, sensitive, simple love story. Here, even though he takes on a script which is dramatically opposite to that, he tries his best to give justice to it. He brings to life the fictitious small town Jawalapur and its residents. He is also able to extract powerful performances from his lead, especially Vikrant Messi, whom we will talk about later. He also gets the tone of the film right. It's something between outrageously fantasy-like to realistically fantasy-like. But ultimately, what lets the movie and the director down is the writing by Kanika Dilan, which is strange because the story, the setting, and the characters seem right up her alley. While in all the previous films, Manmarzia, Judgment Day, Kya, and Kedarnath, she has always written strong female characters with quirks. But the story and the beat of this film feel so outlandish that you never quite feel empathetic towards the character of Rani, played by Tapsi Pannu. She comes across as an obnoxiously fickle-minded, selfish person, which is okay as long as you're giving her some redeeming qualities. But in the movie, her character is up and down. The problem is also compounded by the way Tapsi Pannu decides to play her. She is super in the early part of the film, but as the movie progresses, she struggles to maintain the consistency to her acting. I don't know what it is exactly, but as an audience, my connection with her uh, didn't seem to quite make it. The tennis breakdown scene, which given the kind of actor she is, she should have been able to ace. Uh, Does not leave the kind of impact that it should have. Vikram Masi, on the other hand, completely nails the role of Vishu. Apart from the bewildering ending, where his character does something, he is consistently outstanding. We have seen him play the timid guy before. However, here you see the full range of his acting prowess, from his comedic timing to his dramatic abilities. Even though the story and the character seem over the top. Vikrant keeps his acting realistic. His rage, madness, and unpredictability are all in his eyes. Overall, Hasin Dilruba leaves you with mixed feeling. I like the movie in parts. Uh, some moments, like the tea making scene, it's tender and it's well crafted. Or the staircase scene, it's savage and superbly enacted. These moments give you the sense of what this movie could have been, but such moments are few and scattered. The binge meter this movie is smack in the middle for me. I'm not able to decide. Maybe you can. Let me know what you think about the film in the comment section. Hi guys, if you like the content that I create, if you like the reviews and recommendations that I give, then please hit that like button. Because the more likes this video gets, the more it gets circulated. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe. And if you really, really liked it, then please share it with your family and friends. Who doing any of this would really encourage me to keep doing this. Goodbye, and as always, thank you for all the love.